Morgan, we had a special guest joining us in the uh, studio. Come on in. Pull up a chair. Uh, joining us in the uh, studio this morning, Melissa Peterman. Hi. Hello. Good How morning. I'm I'm when I'm awake, which is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. What time did you go to bed last night? Um, uh, it's Vegas. I did not go to bed <laughs> at all, people. And I think I'm married. So whatevs. <laughs> well, I guess that would mean you have to go to bed. Um, not really. You're clearly not married. <laughs> oh well, no, it's true. Uh so you're over at uh, Palace Station, and, and you're doing the Louis, in the Louis An- the new Louis Anderson yes, theater. Yes, I am. Uh, Louis has been so kind to let me take over the theater for two nights. Um, I've got to clean it though after, which yeah, was part of the deal. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I got to see Louis perform, and uh, on Wednesday, I think, or like two nights ago, and yeah. he's just brilliant. Go see him. I mean, come see me, right? But then go see him. So is that what is that what the main thing that you're doing in Vegas? Just just want to do some stand up here and yeah, and you know, and come and see. I us? mean, don't why are you asking me so many questions? Sorry. It doesn't matter what I'm doing in Natalie, Vegas. Natalie, over to you. <laughs> um, I'm going to do lots of things. What can we expect from Melissa Peterman during her show? Um, I talk about sort of the stuff. You know, you have to talk about what you know. So I talk about uh, you know, Breba a little bit about doing the show and what was that what was that like? Because people seem to want to know about that yeah. and. Um, I talk about Your being kid? a mom and my kid and married and life and uh, all that stuff. Could it's you call Reba right now on the phone? We could talk to her? I could. She's on vacation, so it could be the last call I make <laughs> <laughs> as I call and wake her up like, hey, what are you doing? It's What's up, like- girl? Well, you know what? From what I understand, though, you don't need her anymore. You have your own show coming up. That's right. Listen up, Red. Reba, Reba who? Red. Yeah, listen up. It's And this time, the show's not going to be... Actually, the new show's actually called Reba, which is oh, weird because that was part of my contract. I'm kidding. Oh. I'm kidding. Natalie, look, I love that. I, it, I've, all this stuff, I looked up on you. and you're No. Um, it's actually called Aber, which is Reba backwards. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's what I named my son. Did you know that? <laughs> I didn't know that. No, I didn't either. Uh, the new show uh, is not, yeah, I don't need Reba anymore. Wait, is she going to hear this? No. Wait, she's on vacation. Yeah. I totally need you. Um, it's called Working Class, my new show. What's it about? Um, I play hour? Reba McIntyre. I'm kidding. <laughs> Natalie, you're so easy to be kidding. <laughs> you are way too gullible. It's Natalie, true. you know what? Guess what I have in my car? A unicorn. <laughs> what really? What do you, what do you yes. feed him? <laughs> I feed him kisses and cinnamon air. <laughs> Natalie, you're awesome. I want to take you with me. I just tell you all sorts of things you'll do. No, Natalie, go touch that thing. It'll burn. Uh, I play a single mom, three kids, two exes. Uh, it's based on the writer's real sort of growing up. Uh, Jill Cargaman wrote this script, and um, it was about her life growing up where her mom wanted better schools, a uh, better life, and moved him to uh, the richer neighborhood, but they're the the poorest people in the richest neighborhood. So it's sort of fish out of water that. And it's funny, it's smart, and it's CMT's first time in scripted comedy world. So it's cool. And when does yeah. it start? Um, we start filming in October and uh, January premiere. That's what it looks like. That's so cool. I'm looking forward to that. Can you stick around this morning and, and hang out and talk with us all, mor- all morning? Um, can I? Yeah, I can. We're going to be here all day long. Awesome. We'll be out until four this afternoon. <laughs> this is this is some sort of telethon. Yeah, we'll bring in, we'll bring in food. <laughs> okay, I'm Melissa in. Peterman is with us here this morning on Vegas Country. <laughs> Melissa Peterman joining us in the uh, studio this morning. Do you like comedy or acting better? Um, or hosting? I like it all. I really do. It, it it all. I like it all for different reasons. I mean, it's different muscles that you have to use. I mean, not like actual muscles, because um, I'd prefer not to use those. But um, yeah, I love them all. I, I guess when I, the, whatever one I'm doing at the moment is sort of my favorite. And so I'm in Vegas, so stand up's my favorite right now. Of course, a lot of people have seen you on the Singing Bee. Yes. You are the uh, the host. I am the host and the facilitator yeah. of the singing. How come you only pick the good-looking people in the crowd? That's what I want to know. Um, don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't pick only good. Well, because we have a good-looking audience. Oh, okay. I, I, that I, mean, that's, you can't, yeah. I mean, that is. They're all good-looking. Yeah. It's hard not to. Do people ever stop you on the street and say, I could sing every song? Yes. Because it's got to be harder to do than, I mean, obviously if you're sitting in your living room, right. it's easy to do. But sure. once you're in front of all these people and you're on TV, it's probably the hardest thing in the world to do. I can't believe, especially like that chorus showdown when they do like the full on, the whole chorus. I can't believe they get through it. First off, I'm holding the cards in front of me <laughs> with, with the, words. the words on it, and I'm getting it wrong. Wow. And there's lights, there's a band, there's a giant blonde with a mic in your face, like, and they, I can't believe they do it. I mean, the ones that are good, they are good, because that is hard. Yeah. It is hard. 
I'm saying it wrong in front of Ray, but by the way, don't ever be in the car with her <laughs> and turn on your turn on your radios on like her new single. I'm like, oh, I love your new single, and I got the words wrong, and I did the, I did the whole like, that's a, uh-huh. like oh, I know it. Well, just just to uh, just to make you feel better, I was at a Reba show when she forgot the words to the night the, night the lights went on. And George said, so don't feel she bad did? about it. Yes, yeah, she did. Yeah, it can happen to anybody. <laughs> I mean, you know, fancy. By the way, in case she's listening, fancy. I love you too, Reba. Just yes, we do. Listening. But it happens to the best. I mean, I can't believe artists have to remember even their own, and these people know every artist, so it's hard. Do you have a favorite besides Reba? A uh, country artist? Yes. Um, I do like Lady A, and we talked about them briefly off air, that they're just so good, so talented. Um, Luke Bryan. Uh, he's cute. <laughs> he's yummy. Uh, Jason Aldean. I've seen live. Tim McGraw. Uh, who, so you're Tur- a country Tur- fan. Yeah. I am a country yeah. fan. Well, I've been working yeah. on my Luke Bryan. Yes, he has by an the awesome way. Luke Bryan. I figured out how to do my Luke Bryan impression. He's a combination of Jinx the Cat mm-hmm. and Gomer Pyle. Can I hear it? <clears throat> Hi, this is Luke Bryan. <laughs> How are you doing today? <laughs> Melissa, you look mighty beautiful today. I, I wish I could come on your show and sing one of my favorite songs. Maybe y'all can have me out there. Uh, well, Luke, we'd love to have you anytime. Uh, you're more than welcome. You know, if I shut my eyes, I might make out with you. <laughs> and we'll be back with more. <laughs> Melissa Peterman with us here this morning. Melissa Peterman is uh, joining us this morning. So you got a brand new comedy uh, comedy album that's out? Uh, yeah. Coming out? It's going to be um, our, we're l- looking at a January premiere for that as well. So to coincide with the TV premiere. So, yeah, I don't want to, you know. Is this something that was recorded live at a show or no, did you go into a studio? We went it? into a studio and did it. And uh, I did it in Minneapolis, actually, my uh, hometown. You know. Oh, gosh, for crying out loud. See, I didn't even realize that you were in the movie Fargo. How could you not? Hooker number two was sorry, a pivotal I was, role. I was paying more attention to hooker number one. How did you I'm actually sorry. get prepared for hooker number two? That's did you cheat off of hooker number one? <laughs> That's right. I looked at her test, um, and I didn't do as well. That's why I was number two. Um, uh, I did a lot of prep work because um, uh-huh. that's my craft, and uh, <laughs> a lot of layers. I mean, if you watch that, you're gonna see the depth that I brought to the table yeah. in that role. Mostly, you see me looking around like I can't believe I'm here. Yeah, I was the just first excited. Thing, I'm not going in the wood chipper, am I? I'm good. I would have done it. I was so excited to be on that set. Oh, I bet. Wow. I was literally like 18, and I was just it was so much fun. So cool. So the so the album is it tougher to do a comedy album without a live audience? You know, it was, when I first got into the studio, it was sort of like you're expecting the, because you really feed off the audience. It's right. all about the energy, like the timing. But once I got in it, I it became something sort of different, a little bit of different than what you would see me do live, where I could get more into the storytelling, the description, like character stuff. And I don't want to brag, but um, they left me alone in the studio, and I... Did a rap song because I had time. <laughs> really nice. Yeah. Can we can we hear a little? Uh, I'm a preschool mom and a gangster rapper. Got high cholesterol, so I eat red snapper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's what you got to look forward to when that's that awesome. drops. Yeah, my album's gonna drop. I wow, I see Lady Annabelle yeah. getting knocked right off totally. the top of the charts. Yeah, now, and I so. do, and you know Taylor Swift's on the label, and I did a little, and you know, which is weird because people always confuse us because we look so much alike. Um, <laughs> and I did a. You you know, well, listen up, well, Taylor. Tall. We're on the same label, and I want to lay my cards on the table. I'm going to be the new chart topper. My album goes gold, platinum, and copper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I had fun, and it's it's going to be exciting. All right. Melissa Peterman with us this morning. We'll talk some more and uh, find out what she's going to be doing later on tonight over at Palace Station. We'll talk with her more about that in a few minutes. Right now. Melissa Peterman, uh, still with us in the studio this morning. You're going to be over at Palace Station tonight? Yes, tonight at the Palace Station at the Louis Anderson Theater. I'm going to be there doing some funny, and I don't want to brag, but people think I'm more hilarious in a dry climate. So um, <laughs> come on down. There's a chance of rain here tonight. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> so I pass Excellent. On. No, I'm just kidding. Good luck. Thank you. So, how, so you're doing the full show. I mean, you're not like doing like the other night where you just opened for Louis. Louis's not there, so you're doing the whole show. No, Louis's not there, um, so I'm doing the whole show. So, wow. yeah, it's, it's I'm very excited. And, and I got to thank Louie for letting me come do it because I've been a fan of his since I yeah. was a little. He's a Minnesota boy, too. So yeah, We had Louie on the show here uh, a few years ago. He's And hilarious. he was great. He didn't want to leave. He wanted to stand with us all morning. I do, too. Which was great because we got to go home. And take did off. he just yeah, take he over? just did the whole show. Why don't you guys go <laughs> home? Seven, sense. You know, he was doing his whole family feud thing and everything. It was He's so. brilliant. Yeah. He's really good. <laughs> okay, so you got that. You got the new album that's coming new out. New album January. coming out in January. Uh, TV show in January. and uh, Singing Bee still going on. 
on. Singing Bee, we're done with season three, just wrapped up. So uh, they're, uh, I think they're just playing the reruns right now. And we're hoping to do a season four, too. So Very nice. that'd be great. Cool. So you're busy. I like plus, to be. Plus, you got a little boy. I do? Oh, my God. <laughs> I left him in the car. I've got to be somewhere. <laughs> he's with the unicorn. <laughs> yeah, he's with the unicorn. Yeah, I have a little boy. He's uh, in preschool. He's four and a half. And Cute. Husband. Dog, all that stuff. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's very busy. All right. Well, Melissa Peterman, it was great to meet you. It was Thanks great for to coming meet in. You guys. The first thing she said when she came in, don't I know you? I thought I did. Wow. Do I you mean, still I, think that, or? Um. Do I don't I, know you, money. Do I? No, no, okay. no, no, no. Good. Well, do maybe. <laughs> um. Uh, no, you look very familiar, and I swear it wasn't a line. I mean, I'm not like trying to pick you up really? unless you're into me, and then I totally am. Perfect. <laughs> well, I'm glad you came by to see us. Thank yeah. you for having me.